Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fourth grade concept of fractions and decimals on a number line. This is standard 4.3G in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 12 off the 2017 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we have four different number lines here. They all go from 0 to 4, and we need to find on which number line Q best represents 2.98, or 2 and 98 hundredths units from 0. So really, we want to just go ahead and understand where that is in relation to our whole numbers, because we don't have any decimals on our number lines here. So let's, let's build that number right here. So we've got 2.98, 2 and 98 hundredths. So we've got our ones place. To the right of the decimal, we start with our tenths. And then the reason I say 298 hundredths is because when we are reading our place value, what we do is we're always going to put the word and to separate whole numbers and decimals. And then you just read whatever you have after the decimal all together and then you say the name of the final spot. So 98, and then it's in the hundredths spot. That 8 is in the hundredths spot. So we got 2 and 98 hundredths, but how close is that to 2, or how close is that to 3? Well, what happens if this 98 is pretty, pretty high up? What happens if we start adding hundredths at a time? So if we were to add a hundredth, we'd get 2.99, 2 and 99 hundredths, correct? But what if I added another hundredth? What if I just added one more hundredth? And you're going to see we're going to have to kind of change everything over. One more hundredth gets me to have to regroup there. It's another 10, I have to regroup there. So I am one more hundredth when I'm at 299, 299 hundredths, that's one hundredth away from three. And really the best way to think about this is to think of it like 299. Let's go ahead and take these decimals away. Think about it, if we had 298, 299, 300. So really this 298 is only two numbers away from 300. And so this two and 98 hundredths is only two hundredths away from our three. So we're really, really close to three. We are only two hundredths below. So let's take a look at our answer selections now. So we've got F. You see how this is just a little bit above one? So if we're kind of going with this two hundredths, it looks like this is probably one and two hundredths because it's just barely past 1. So it's not exactly on 1. Looks like it's just barely past 1, so we're not looking for that one. G, that's pretty good. We're at least between the 2 and the 3. But take a look. It's exactly right, in, or at least visually, it looks exactly in between the 2 and the 3. So we're going to call this 2.50. We could also call it 2.5. But since we're kind of going with hundredths, it looks like that's exactly in between 2 and 3 as whole numbers. And that's going to be 50 hundredths or 5 tenths, whichever way you want to. So probably a no. So really, we're stuck here between H and J. So take a look at H. You see how there's the 2, and it's just barely to the left. So I'm going to say that this definitely is my... 98 hundredths. You see how it just needs two more hundredths to get up to that next whole number, which is what we're looking for, this 98 hundredths. But it's between 1 and 2. So it's 1 and 98 hundredths. It's almost up to 2. We want 2 and 98 hundredths. And that's what we're going to get here with J. See how it's right almost up there next to 3, but it's a little bit below. So there's my 98 hundredths. But it hasn't quite reached 3, which means we still have to say it's 2 and 98 hundredths. It's just 2 hundredths away, and our answer here is J.